That's what I'm trying to do. No, no, no. Let's not waste time, okay? There's barely anything left of me. Look, I did the analysis. I did all the calculations. This neural network echo that allows the dead to talk. It's the key to immortality. But how? This is just residual emotions. Not quite. I just developed a neural network method for polymer self-adaptation in my head. We can prevent the consciousness from fading and use its impulses to direct machine parts. Effectively, this will allow the transfer of a human mind into the machine, rendering it immortal. So, what do I need? Here goes. Turns out it's really simple. Have you got a pen? I didn't expect it to be so easy. When thoughts are the only things you have, oh my... They become so clear and flow so very smooth. D don't leave me hanging. Charles, record what she says. Yes. Yes. I'm fading. Begin by taking a simple Soviet. Available in every home. Hey, lady. You there? I'm afraid that's it, Major. The neuropolymer charge is She faded. Exhausted. Although, she was on the verge of a breakthrough. Damn, talk about brain drain. <sighs> God, so simple. Can't repair it because it's in the wrong station. <laughs> it's in the wrong area. Fading data. Uh, is that where the plushkis are? It's probably like a. <laughs> yeah, that's a little shortcut. Hopefully I don't have to fight those two Plushkis when I come back. Complete these uh, healing bots. Oh crap! Oh crap! Whoa. How it <laughs> it's already been an hour and a half. What the fuck? Shit. 
Jeez. How many are there? Let's see how much shit I need to pick up now. Alexandra, could I have some chicken Kiev and mashed potatoes, please? Oh, and a pickle. Just one. Is that it? <laughs> Talking. It's like, oh man, this fucking shucks. Ah, uh, this is fucked. The fuck? Such an off is a decent guy. How could he let this happen? An army of bots, killer mutants, thousands of innocent victims. No matter how you slice it, the facility's to blame. Even without Petrov, this place has issues. To say nothing of Collective 2.0. Seriously. Access granted. Oh, did I just interrupt that hole? Hmm. Access granted. Cartridge is done. Even though I hardly use the cartridge stuff. Mm -hmm. So since I'm nearing the end of the game, I might as well keep like a bundle of two of those. Mm -hmm. uh, I assume I'm nearing the end of the game. It feels like it's going to be near the end of the game, but who knows? Alright, so what I'm going to do now is do two Kalushnikov ammunitions, two of these, two shoddies. We're going to break down those stupid pistol ammunitions. Oh, whoa. So much materials now. Alright, that's pretty good for now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
So it was the shotgun and the fat boy, right? And I, of course, am probably missing the thing I need to upgrade it. Everything else is good. Oh, howdy. Oh boy, that's a lot of fucking dudes. Oh my god, now this is a combat zone. Shit. Where's your fucking button? Boom, shaka laka. Fuck you, robot. Oh, so much for, uh... See, that's an area I thought they would, like, throw the music at me. <laughs> but I guess they didn't. Your soul belongs to me now. Help me! I've got bad news for you. You're already dead. Nonsense. Can't you see I'm bleeding out? This complex is full of medical supplies. Just get me a first aid kit. I'm a doctor. I'll be able to help myself. So try to match the amount of time that's passed with how you're feeling. You're a doctor. What does two and two add up to? Am I? Am I really dead? must be these fucking vaccines, correct? I got imprinted on the neural net as a residual echo. Yeah, like I said, I'm sorry. Forgive me. I... Could you... Would you mind leaving me then? Please? Sure thing, ma'am. Alright, so we can go over there, or we could... Oh, grab that. Or it seems like there's a chirper up there. Let's go grab that chirper. Oh wait. Yeah, it's kind of easy to miss the chirpers if you're not like scanning. Cause they're hard to see. Are you coming to lunch today? They're serving Leningrad salad and sturgeon. Leningrad oh, salad. It, oh, instead of Caesar salad. Amazing. <laughs> sure, Simeon. I just need to finish up here first. I've got a lot of butchering to do today. Five more carcasses. There's two pigs, a sheep, and two old folks, a man and a woman. The old guy should just take a second, but you go on ahead. I'll be there in 40 minutes. The so. fuck? And she phrased it as butchering, not you know, autopsy or anything like that. Butcher. She used the B word. <laughs> like, they know what they were doing to the body. <laughs> Type of scenario. Alright. I need to somehow... And that's how you do it. Got it. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> All right, there's a lot of people trying to come into the YouTube side of thing, just not speaking English. So uh, yeah, we're going to uh, ban anyone that's not speaking English. <laughs> <laughs> sorry guys if you're not speaking English you can't talk into this channel I'm sorry like, I can't I don't know if you're saying something racist or anything like that and then since I can't really uh, moderate another language um, I pretty much obligated to ban you guys <laughs> I'm obligated to so don't come into the channel oh oh no Oh, it's these Look things. At the size of that fucking thing. What is it? The experiments here involve the creation of neuropolymer endoskeletons for various animals. The goal is to allow them. Is that supposed to be a pig? on the outer planets of the solar system. Endoskeletons. That thing isn't going to attack us, is it? It's huge. The specimens Ooh, here a bear. lack any neuropolymer brain tissue structure. They are nothing but polymer bodies at this time. They cannot move. Still, they're freaking massive. Are they for planets with low gravity? Some are, while others are for planets with high gravity. Research is being conducted for all scenarios. In one of the vats, you can even see attempts to breed an organism capable of living in the oceans of Jupiter. That's creepy. So, yeah, I don't know what's up with today and YouTube, man, but there's a lot of Ruskies coming into my channel. Expected to see Victor like this in these circumstances. Hmm. We used to be thick as thieves, you know. But Victor made too many bad calls. Now look at him. Thanks to Dr. Sechenov's brilliance. We don't have to lose all of Petrov's knowledge. We'll be able to return the robots to their previous state. Once the simulation He's already dead, complete. you creep! Keep your hands off him! Relate! All right, damn. Is it going to do what I think it's going to do? Oh, what's up with her eyes? Oh no, is it another one of those dreams? It's one of those. The professor says you haven't slept in three days. I don't want to. Sleeping pills. Bottle of vodka. Oh, what the? What the fuck? You know I don't like that stuff. My brain's a fortress. You know, when I was a boy.
It helped him. I hate Is that the Annihilation music? I didn't like children's books for the same reason. Sounds like the Annihilation music. The movie Annihilation. Exactly. The books in my father's library. Interesting. History. Yeah, it's the same music from Annihilation. Science doesn't try to make the world safer or prettier. It doesn't us. It just gives us the facts. Trust me, I know my fucking music, and that's uh, that's Annihilation music. I knew what I had to train for. In the dark, behaves predictably. It can be studied. The monster in the light wears a mask and is therefore uncontrolled. Which makes it dangerous. Very much so. Moreover, the light makes us monsters. Do you understand, my boy? More or less. May I? Turn out the light. Yeah. Reconstructing illumination. That is such the fucking annihilation music. <laughs> That's so crazy. I was gonna say, like, I have it streamer friendly mode, but it seems like the annihilation music would be copyright. I think by what it was, uh, would it be Lionsgate? No, it wasn't Lionsgate that published it. <laughs> what? Oh, it's Polymer. I think. Whoa! Shit. Oh, this is trippy, my dudes. What was up with her f hands? Oh God, those dudes! Where are you, my love? Oh no! Am I gonna have to worry about the fucking Borovs? I think they're called. Where exactly is my objective? Oh, I'm a fucking monkey. For something, I like a monkey. I don't know. Am I going down? Maybe I'm going... Oh, what the fuck? Okay, so I guess I can't go down there. Am I going up? I think I'm going up. I don't know. Hmm. So I don't know if I am or not. So go through here. Oh, there is some. There's a ramp. Find me. Find me. Why am I this furball? It's really weird. Are oh, they calling me a test monkey? Mm -hmm. I do like the Annihilation music though because it fit the emotions of that movie quite well. I don't know if it really fits Atomic Card though. I think that I think that music was made specifically for that movie. <laughs> I don't want to wake up. I want to be human. Ah! Fuck. Okay. First person. Ah, I I even pressed the jump button. Jump. Yep. The jump button's like. Is that kind of working? Okay. Now it's working. The physics is a little on. 
Son of a bitch. What the? Charles, where's Larissa? She hid before the explosion. So what happened to Stuck? Stockhausen was knocked into a vat of polymer by the explosion and is now deceased. Oh, hypocrite. I'm a doctor. I'm a doctor. Huh. Some doctor you are, you grenade tossing bitch. Petrov and Falatova are cut from the same cloth. There can be no doubt about that. Whatever. Mm. We gotta find a way out. What happened to the ballerinas? You're thinking they would have protected him, but I guess not. Because that was not their main objective. La ballerina. Major, you alive? No, I got killed by a grenade. I'm so sorry that happened. I didn't want any of this, but none of it matters right now. So what does matter, you crispy ass critter? We have to meet. You need to. Why are you calling someone home. that? I'll show you everything. What do you mean by everything? You trust Sechenov too much, but he's keeping you in the dark. You have no idea what's really going on. You need to see it with your own eyes, or you're not gonna believe it. <laughs> you got that right. I have no fucking idea what's going on. You will understand when you see it. I have proof. I'll be waiting in the Academy of Consequences. The entrance is inside the lighthouse. <clears throat> Trust nobody. I don't. Trust no one. Bleat. <laughs> Bleat. <laughs> okay. Do a save. Saving data. We'll try and upgrade our weapons a few more times before we uh, go anywhere. But first, I gotta figure out where we are. So we're over here. We're facing. Comrade Major. Yeah. I must insist that you destroy the beta connectors. Why do you have a bug up your ass about Ooh. these rings, Charles? You said you would make a decision about the rings when the time was right. The time. Oh. Dim. Oh. Oh, please don't tell me. Oh no. Oh no. Oh shh. Yeah. The dewdrop is the latest design in the field of biomechanics. Fuck me! That thing's huge! Isn't that what I just said? Boom! Oh, hey, that actually did some damage. Oh, God! <laughs> um, oh, oh, so it's only vulnerable. In certain cases. Boom. Hmm. Trying to figure out its vulnerabilities. Seems like it's vulnerable when it's attacking. Pray to your tin god. Well, well. Super flinching. Oh. Get fucked, four eyes. I don't know what the hell did you. What the hell did it do? Is this phase two of the fight? You fucked in the head. Lights out. You fucked in the head. You fucked. Are you fucked? <laughs> Oh wait, yeah, I got this thing. I got this fucking gun. 
I should probably heal. Ow! Oh, it's not really doing a lot of damage to him. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, I need to heal. Oh shit. It's a motherfucker. And it's down. Ooh. Please don't kill me. Well, well, well. That was a thing. That poor well, though. Not, not, not the happiest about the well. But is there a way to get back up? Because I still need to kind of do the. Uh, still need to do that one. You know, testing grounds. <laughs> Kind of important. <laughs> I kind of want to do that. So I'm kind of... I'm wondering if I can get back there. Am I screwed? Can I not do the testing ground if I accidentally jump down here? Am I completely fucked? I think I am. Cause there's, I don't know if there's any climbing. <laughs> nope, can't climb. I guess we're kind of screwed. Unless there's a way to sneak back to the left side. <laughs> Conveniently, there's something to climb. No, oh, why does it do that? <laughs> that thing was dangerous. I didn't know if I could handle it. And there are much more powerful robots out there. Real combat robots are far deadlier. There aren't any combat bots here. Not yet, but once Collective launches, they will be everywhere. And two of them will be equipped with beta connectors. Do you have any idea how much blood will be spilled because of one person's private ambitions? You and the rings are driving me nuts. When are you assholes gonna stop trying to pull my strings? Done. Happy now? Good decision, Comrade Major. I have no doubt that it saved lives. Perhaps many more than I can imagine. Let's hope so. It's not going to be very deep in the ocean, you know that? <laughs> or lake, whatever this is. It looks like a lake. But, um... Hey, yeah, you do you. Someone's going to find them. I bet, you know... Not quite... It's not the last time we'll see those rings. Oh shit. Why are they shooting? The access code has been successfully extracted from Petrov's neuropolymer memory. Oh. That mode has been disabled, and the robots have returned to their normal status. Or okay. Everyone who was able to hide and survive owes you their lives. You've done me proud. Thank you, sir. What now? Come back to Chelemay, get a checkup, and take some leave. You've earned it. I'll deal with the fallout from this mess. Roger that. I'm on my way. You didn't tell Sechenov about Philoctopa. Are you still planning to meet with her? I want to see yep. the evidence she says is so important. Dr. Sechenov isn't going to like it, you know. So don't tell him. A lighthouse, huh? 
So where is she? Larissa! Freaking critters, you around here somewhere? I do not see oh. anyone in the vicinity. Let's take a look around. She's gotta be here. Do you trust Dr. Falatova? I don't trust anyone. But she's got something important to tell me. But she has bobs. And we trust bobs. Has Dr. Sechenov ever told you about his plans? Not really. I mean, he's never really had to, but now this whole thing with Petrov, Jellyman killed Stock, and the boss didn't even bat an eye. Is the launch of Collective really so important he can't even delay it out of respect for the dead? I have no data on this topic, Comrade Major. No data, huh? Well, I don't have any data either. So let's go get some. And Bob's we trust. All right, I could go up. Actually, is there anything up there? Ooh. Let's go up there. Well, seems like we can go further up. Watch this exactly where we need a meter. <laughs> it's like right in the actual lighthouse. Mm -hmm. Eh, can't go any higher than this. I guess she's at the lower end. Time to go low. Get low, get low. Alright, so that's where I came from. What do we have here? A chair and a TV? This isn't what I was expecting. What were you expecting? I suspected this room has a specific function. To inebriate. Get yourself a vodka and some tea. We're going to down. Oh, it's a secret facility. Oh, crispy critters! I believe that the unscheduled what the fuck was by the elevator access system being hacked. Otherwise, Doctor Falatova would not have been able to initiate it. Ah, so she hacked the system. Kind of like how all these poor bastards. It is Bioshock. <laughs> so that's Neptune, huh? Looks nice. Actually, he looks amazing. A rapture. Uh, uh, I get it. Uh, I have to call out the Bioshock. Setchenov asked you to return to Chelamet. How will you explain this delay? We can deal with that. Let's talk to the doc first. But if she tries to take off again, she's gonna regret it. I'm sick of playing Kevin Mouse with her. Clearly, the Atomic Heart people are fans of Bioshock. <laughs> they had the city in the sky and they also have rapture they even, he even called it rapture <laughs> that's funny he even called it fucking rapture that is hilarious oh there she is so what are we doing here what do you want just hear me out p3 let me try to give you a different perspective and then you can decide how to handle things do you know how Sechenov is planning to use collective what he's going to do with it after collective launches people will be able to control robots with their minds and they won't be able to stab each other in the back anymore sounds nice i used to think that way too but that's not how things really are collective isn't just about controlling robots sechenov will be able to control everyone who's a part of collective collective is diabolical nichive it's even worse than slavery bullshit it's just the same old chain of command but on a virtual network what's so awful about that Come on, see for yourself. I've got questions. Where are we? This is the Academy of Consequences, the facility's memory, analytic center, and primary archive. The activities of all the other complexes are studied here in order to draw conclusions and generate probability matrices. Get to the point. The Academy has a number of interesting departments. For example, there's the Radio of the Future. By mathematically combining shortwave and quantum echoes, we can predict the music people will be listening to 50 or even 80 years into the future. 
But there's another very special department here called Polymerized Subject Behavioral Psychology. They're supposed to be volunteers, but... How'd you get in here? Why didn't the Dropus stop you? I work here. Well, I used to. Only Sechenov can revoke my access. And he's got his hands full right now. And I'm no threat to him. Get to the point. And no more grenades or other bullshit. Any funny business at all and I'll kill you. This is your last warning. Sure, fine. Come on, I won't waste your time. Okay, lead nope. on. Jeez. Why is he... Why is it focusing on her ass? <laughs> I was like... I was like moving and the camera just pans down. <laughs> I was like, wait, what's going on? And my, my control is not suffering from drifting. <laughs> this is a little funny and like comedically timed. It's like, oh yeah, let's focus on the ass. Well, are you ready? Disable polarization. Is this what the fuck? Or something? It's a tomb of the mind. The volunteers who lay the foundation for collective. The first few groups of subjects all died. Group 30 went insane. Group 73 killed themselves. Group 101 killed each other. Group 204 was the most successful. They all survived. Their consciousness is now in an imaginary world. We call it limbo. And their bodies are here, under my complete control. Want me to make them do something? Why? To show that I'm not lying. Whatever. Line them up. Keep going. That's uh, creepy. The fat guy. Tell him to jump. He could use Just it. Just him? Why don't I make them all jump? After all, we all live in a communist society. God damn you, jump! This is insane. Why do you people even do this shit? Fuck. Poor bastards. No, that's where you're wrong. Chemically speaking, they're all perfectly happy. That's what Collective is all about. The entire world will be just like Why this. would Sechenov want to turn everyone into a bunch of idiots? Was he trying to make fun of the world by making people run around naked and act like animals? <laughs> no. We were able to prevent the degradation of individual consciousness. Memories, behavior, speech patterns are all preserved. But there's one thing they won't be able to avoid. The complete loss of their free will. We gotta stop this. Stop this? That's what Victor was trying to do. You got in his way, and now it's too late. Your boyfriend lost his mind and killed people. He tried to tell me Sechenov taught the robots to kill during the design phase. Why would Boss do that? Why? <laughs> Why did he design Collective to be a mind control system? Why does he need those special neuro controllers? Sechenov wants to enslave the entire world. I'm sorry, but if you don't understand that, you're an idiot. would never do that he would and he will on Monday all this is really hard to swallow but I'll help you whatever you're planning I'm in <laughs> you're willing to turn on such enough after what you just showed me yeah I want to hear what he's got to say. P1, P2, P3. Your mind is never free. Oh. Oh, so it does look like auto target. Ooh. What? What was that? What's what? Nothing. I'm just digesting what I saw. 
I think we're having a stroke. Why did you help me? Perhaps because I care? And besides, it's not about you. Well, not only you. If you worked here, then why didn't you try to stop this? I thought it was for the best. I thought it was for the good of the entire Soviet Union. But when I realized what was really going on, I had to bide my time, wait for the right moment. Victor and I risked everything and... you know the rest. Fine, moving on. The test subject is not leaving limbo. Inject your... Uh, hey, Major. I'm fine. My head's been killing me lately. I've been seeing things. This is one hell of a job, let me tell you. <laughs> you won't even remember a thing. Hallucinations are serious business. Well, I am a neurosurgeon. I can probably help if everything ends well. No, thanks. A little vacation will fix me right up. I mean, if this all ends well. If we are going on vacation. <laughs> Fine. Where will the rescue go on vacation? Listen, about Victor, I... Uh... Monaco. What? Did you have no choice? You couldn't have acted differently? Will you now tell me that you're sorry? What? I am sorry. Well, I'm not. I should be, but Victor, no other outcome was possible. It it wasn't even quite him at that point. I don't want to talk about it. I just don't feel comfortable around these people. Huh, well, just you wait. Soon this is going to happen all over the Soviet Union, and later the whole world. Then you'll see all people stripped of their free will. You know... Free will doesn't guarantee that a person won't be a scumbag. What? Are you justifying atrocities? Atrocities? What atrocities? If they're volunteers, coming here was their choice. It's got nothing to do with me. You're a monster! Affirmative. That's enough. I'm too busy to chat right now. Very well. Enjoy the view. Uh, before I do anything. There's an attached file, too. Comrade Sechenov, Collective's control interface has to be reconfigured so it can only control robots. I won't allow this device to be used to control human minds. Victor, we're men of science. There's no room at the facility for emotions or politics. Follow your order. Listen, Comrade Sechenov. I don't have a problem with a certain wise intellect setting the course for all mankind. What I do have a problem with is who you see in the role of Demiurge. So this is about personal relations. Well, whoever told you you were the worthiest of the worthy, huh? Who put you in charge of history? Do you think you're better than everyone else? I see that all that romantic melodrama at the theater has had a real effect on you. Shall I assume you're refusing a direct order? Yes, I am. Now what? Are you going to kill me? Victor, I don't know what you think of me, but I would never stoop to something so, well, something so primitive. So what did you do then? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, like, like think it focuses on her ass. <laughs> so weird. Resist, my darling. Resist. Who's the lady that's talking in her head? Ah, oh, fuck. 
I'm so sick of these goddamn hallucinations. Do you see colorful spots before your eyes? Mm-hmm. Does your perception of the world change? Yeah, exactly. You see that flying polymer? You were is that, is that real? Limbo, but it can't be stopped. How did you interrupt it? I don't know. It's like that lump of polymer is calling out to me. A big teardrop shaped one. Right there, straight above us. Do you see it? There's nothing there. What do you mean? I don't see it either. Looking right at it. Oh crap, now it's gone. It's a hallucinatory reaction, a side effect of the surgery you underwent. The reaction of a damaged brain to the presence of a neuropolymer implant. What are you even talking about? What implant? Did Sechenov not tell you? So you don't know what's happening to you? Charles, do you know what's happening with my head? I am not detecting any internal changes, Major. But your Vossot polymer extension is clearly receiving an unidentified stream of external data. Ooh. What's that interface? Who are you talking to? It's a chatting artificial librarian, an AI in my polymer glove. Doesn't matter. Charles, what are you talking about? Charles? Wait, Charles, what data? What Voshod Polymer Extension? The Voshod Polymer Extension was developed using data from experiments conducted by Dimitri and myself. What? Yourself? And why are you calling Dr. Oh my Dimitri? God. You? He's the partner. This will be difficult to explain. Oh, shh. Why the fuck are you all staticky? What the hell is going on? He's the partner. If what I'm thinking is true, I should be able to access the archive right now. There will be. He's an AI construct of the human brain or a personality that went into the glove. We, he went full Soma. <laughs> State your name and personal access code. Crispy critters. Invalid name. Fine, I'll hack in. Not so fast. Name Charidan Zaharov. Code Fluffy. Code accepted. Access granted. Charles, are you there? Oh, he is. He is. Nothing. Go on, so, What is Charles then? Long story short, your Charles is Professor Charidan Zaharov. Yeah. Was short. So how could he be Zaharov? Professor Zaharov was developing the collective subsystems and worked on the module. The one you have inside you. They told us he ran a number of experiments on himself. The result was disastrous and unpredictable. On himself? Was he an idiot or something? Oh, he certainly wasn't an idiot. Zaharov was a misanthrope obsessed with science. I don't think he cared about what happened to his body all that much. So when did you realize that Charles is Zaharov? Just about right now, when he went offline. I had no idea Sechenov had stashed his consciousness into your glove. It was the abbreviation Charles that tipped me off. So Charles isn't a person anymore. Just... A device. I don't know. I guess he is. Except this device is based on the logical paradigm and experience of one of the brightest Soviet geniuses. So why does Sechenov want him? Because Sechenov never dismisses what he can use. It's easier for him to change everything to fit his needs. I guess you noticed this already. What's funny is that you seem to have made friends with your glove. Well, we've been through a lot. I've got feelings, you know, being alive and all. So does he. Dead. How can you talk about this so calmly? To me, Charitan Radionovich died a long time ago. I'm done mourning him. And besides, I'm a scientist. We're more impassionate towards death than to muddling one's brains. So, how do we get in? Only a small bunch of people have permanent access to the archive. Sechenov, Lebedev, the director of the academy, and Zaharov, like you reminded me. Fluffy, mm. huh? <laughs> so what would we have done if the password hadn't worked? I'm sure you would have smashed the door with your bare fists. But now Archivist thinks I am Dr. Zaharov, so we got lucky. And now we can learn everything about you. Let's go. Yeah, what's my backstory? Welcome, Charitan Zaharov. What is the subject of your query today? 
Agent P3, personal file. Your search returned 42 audio records. Shit! So Do I have to listen to all 42? I couldn't care less. Then pick one at random. I guess the last one? What's the last uh, audio record? Oh, what the fuck is this? Oh, I guess this is audio stuff. Try this one. Commencing playback. The events in Bulgaria left the agents badly injured. Technically speaking, they were clinically dead. Agent Blesna could not be saved. Since Agent Plutonium's condition was less severe, it was possible to return him to combat readiness. However, his nearly destroyed limbs had to be amputated and replaced with the latest prostheses. Yeah, I already know half my body's prosthetic. What else is new? These are just general observations. Find another recording. Most likely it's going to be upstairs. upstairs yeah i wonder if there's more than just two there probably is there's probably one in, yep on that side of things here's another one okay play this one commencing playback Following his recovery, the agent's personality was altered significantly, including his behavioral and speech patterns. Because of this, I made the decision to remove the agent from the Argentum unit. In order to prevent any possibility of memory recidivism, Plutonium received an... That was the, uh, P3. subtitles are different. ...now under my direct command and observation. P3's contact with Argentum has been kept to a minimum and Argentum personnel have been warned against mentioning the call sign Blesna in P3's presence. Crispy. Blesna? I'll get another one. What? Sechenov has you on a leash. He does whatever he wants with you. Listen, Doc, he saved my life. Do you think I don't know I'm a test subject? That's my job. <clears throat> so you're a volunteer, huh? Then why are you such a disobedient test subject? Because before they always told me what they were doing. I'll go get another recording. And... Huh. Life. Magazine. Give this one a spin. Procedure. Implant the Voskhod Neuropolymer Brain Function Extension. Objective. Mm, Total it's pretty big. Destructive impulses That's in our head. Memories. Patient, Major Sergei Nechayev. Codename, Plutonium. Attempt number three. The first two operations were unsuccessful. The patient suffered a severe brain injury in Bulgaria, which could not be repaired. 
The damage is of such severity that the patient will likely have to be euthanized. Did you hear that? He wanted to kill you. 